to direct means to show you the path that leads to your destination to guide means to show you the steps that leads to your destination so if i'm to direct you out of this auditorium i will say go there is a door there if i see well there is another door there go and turn left that is direction not guidance if i'm welcome to our channel in today's video we explore apostle joshua selman's powerful teaching on accessing help from the spirit he highlights the holy spirit's essential role as our comforter guide and source of divine assistance in every aspect of our lives through profound insights we'll learn how to strengthen our connection with the spirit and open ourselves to the wisdom and support that's always available to us this teaching reminds us that we're never alone in our challenges help is always at hand join us as we discover the keys to accessing this vital spiritual help and empowerment to direct means to show you the path that leads to your destination to guide means to show you the steps that leads to your destination so if i'm to direct you out of this auditorium i will say go there is a door there if i see well there is another door there go and turn left that is direction not guidance if i'm guiding you i will let you know that there is a depression here you may fall even though looking at the right direction so the assignment of guidance is to play the understanding for the steps to take while direction forces on the destination guidance focuses on the process and the holy spirit both directs and guides is someone learning most of us have opened up our spirits to be directed but not to be guided so we say i know what god has said that by the end of this year this is what i will become but do you understand the dynamics of your daily walk that eventually leads you to that prophecy the holy spirit provides guidance holy spirit provide guidance the holy spirit provides guidance the holy spirit guides number three how does the holy spirit help men the ministry of empowerment it is exclusively within the office of the spirit to empower the man. now there are two dimensions of grace that the bible teaches the first is called saving grace the grace of god that bringeth men to salvation are we together has appeared unto all men that dimension grace appears to all men and you do not grow in that dimension of grace because the assignment is to sponsor administering the life of god to you and once that happens it's exhausted its validity in your life the second level of grace is called enabling grace philippians 4 13 i can do all things that is a very very arrogant statement how does a man stand to say i can do all things do you know how many things there are to be done in your lifetime and yet he says i can do all things but he says through christ through christ that strengthens me through christ that strengthens me there is an enabling grace thrice paul besought the lord over the thorn in his flesh and god's reply to him was my grace is sufficient are we together so you do the doing but the empowerment comes from the spirit extraordinary manifestations by the power of the holy spirit how does a man use the jawbone of a donkey and would single-handedly slay three thousand philistines he did the fighting but the empowerment was of the spirit is someone learning now so the holy spirit empowers us he brings us into maturity he helps us by the spirit to walk in power supernatural power power is so important that the bible is not silent as to the fact that believers need to be empowered jesus for three and a half years had mentored the disciples and transferred sufficient knowledge but he still told them until ye be endued with power from on high 
when jesus resurrected he called the disciples to continue the final phase of his lectures before his ascension to heaven hallelujah and when he began to teach them in acts to one because you see their idea was that jesus was going to come and restore the nation of israel as we know that happened in the 1940s historically they thought that that would happen within that time that was why they were negotiating posi political positions for themselves they left fishing not because they wanted to go to heaven or they wanted to be apostles they were hoping that by working with jesus they would earn a very comfortable position when he's finally done with caesar and all of these people now jesus told them he was going that was why they were angry going to where to leave us you cause trouble we are, we are enemies we don't have families again you are not it was not compassion they were not missing he were angry we left everything to do and now you cause chaos all around rome and you said you're going peter said you are not going anywhere you're not going that was why when they came to catch jesus and he gave himself they were disappointed they expect to shake them off walk through them and he gave himself peter ran away when jesus died he was disappointed managing his disappointment in john 21 he said i go a fishing and the disciples said we go with you it's in your bible <laughs> i go off in let me go back and do what i was doing for three years before this man deceived me i hope you know peter had a wife he had responsibilities so jesus comes to them in john 21 and peter in his frustration ah listen there are times where everything is right but minus god you will still fail look at peter at sea remember he returned back in anger to fish the boat was there the skill was there the net was there the sea was there even the fish was there but he could not catch it there are times that every parameter is right your skill is there the boat is there the net is there the experience the fish he was looking for was there but he could not catch it here comes jesus little children have you any catch and he looked not knowing it was jesus he said cast your net to the right side this is jesus now and the bible says when he casted the net they could not leave the net because it was about to break and peter was washing himself he realized it was jesus and he said depart from me for i am a sinner and jesus said no that's not the issue come simon bajona lovest thou me more than this he said feed my lamb and then the discussion continued peter was so broken by that encounter the same peter when the holy ghost came in acts chapter 2 they thought that these men were drunk now there was no time to run away he said calm down let me preach this is that that prophet joel said and from joel to david he began the same man who was running away confused but when power came upon him by the ministry of the holy spirit are we together now when he began to speak he rounded up his psalm by saying let it be known to you that this same jesus whom you have crucified has now been exalted as lord and christ the effect the bible says they were caught to the heart and they said men and brethren what shall we do he says repent for the remission of your sins and then you shall receive of this promise for the promise is unto you your children your children's children as many as are far off even those that the lord will call three thousand people came and the ministry the same peter the bible says handkerchiefs and aprons look at this guy the, the shadow of peter all the extraordinary manifestations by the spirit weak men become strong when they are with the holy ghost you see let me tell you the truth jesus said the holy ghost is with you and shall be in you it's important you understand and dr andy explained it so powerfully union and partnership are we together now yes that union is a state it's a spiritual reality when you are in christ but your partnership requires the active participation of your will continually and consistently it takes partnership with him to change your thoughts and like pastor taught us there are three indices according to scripture that describe the maturity of the believer you find that in first corinthians 13 and verse 11 when i was a child he said i 
spoke like a child i understood like a child i thought like a child he says but now that i am a man i lay aside these childish things childish speaking childish thinking childish understanding hallelujah praise the name of the lord then he begins to guide you then he empowers you ladies and gentlemen let me tell you sincerely when the holy spirit comes in and upon a believer even in his power your life becomes a sign and a wonder that you embrace the help of god elevation church today is beyond the testimony of an intelligent man even that even though that is true is beyond the testimony of a great man who has endured so much that is true but i can tell you all that you see that you celebrate and you are part of right in this place and globally speaking is a testament that when the holy ghost holds the hand of a man incredible things happen let me give you one story i'm not very good in sharing my stories for whatever reason but let me share one and then we'll pray are you ready to hear story story now once upon a time listen very carefully no 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 that <laughs> hallelujah so one day i had a vision and this was the vision that has become the bedrock of what god is doing today in that vision i was in a room it was an elevated like a story building and i ran into that room because of fear in that vision there were a people who were looking for me as though to destroy me and i was in that room and all of a sudden through the window i looked out and i saw an endless sea of people it was a whole generation crying and then they began to zoom to me and I was talking with the people, the, the ones who were in front. And they were crying and I heard what they said. No food and no water. And I said, who is the cause? I was so grieved in my spirit. And they unanimously pointed to me. I said, no, I can't be that wicked. I can't be that heartless. And then I made up my mind. I said, I will come down and do whatever it is within my power to help you. But I remembered in that vision how frail I was i took the step of faith and i opened the door here's where i'm going as soon as i opened the door there was this giant gray bearded man who stretched his giant hands and said give me your hands and my small tiny hands held his hand and we began to walk together we were jumping from building to building there was a ladder i couldn't jump so he would jump and smile at me while i'm walking on the ladder to connect to him i didn't know that was the holy spirit it was a revelation of the excellency that can emanate from the life of an ordinary man when you are in partnership with the holy spirit listen to me ladies and gentlemen the holy spirit is not um for preachers or those in the fivefold they are just the ones who are most conscious of his ministry that is why it seems that he seems to find greater or the greatest expression with them as i'm speaking to you now i just sense that there is an anointing there is a glory the holy spirit is searching for men and he's saying would you give me a chance to make a wonder and a sign out of your life look what he's done to men in scripture ordinary men who walked with the holy ghost they became powerful men are we talking of women the bible archives them in hebrews chapter 11 it says time will fail me to talk of gideon jephthah and barak even though it was true faith but it was by the spirit because it is not by might it is not by power it is by the spirit mary the young virgin a young lady who was happy like any other lady preparing for a marriage with joseph all of a sudden she receives a strange salutation what morning gabriel comes to her and gives her a disturbing salutation blessed are you among women you are highly favored and she wondered what kind of salutation this was then he tells her that she's going to be with child however without the assistance of a man and she asks a very very profound question how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man Para. 
how shall these things be how shall it be that i will build a business in six months without certain people without belonging to certain groups how shall it be that from a family that does not seem to have any pedigree of honor how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man i'm about to give you an answer that you will give men when they say how did this happen how did it happen that saul became paul how did it happen that this ordinary lady how did esther suddenly become queen how did this happen how shall it be how will these things be seeing that i know not a man watch this gabriel's answer is my message tonight the angel answered and said the holy ghost luke 1 34 35 ah the the angel answered thank god that you are a virgin thank god that you are a wonderful lady but this kind of possibility is beyond the scope of your preparation it is the holy ghost how shall it be that an ordinary preacher would lay hands on another and bring someone out of a wheelchair how shall it be that you speak to nations and program a spiritual climate of possibilities over people how shall it be that you say let it be and it will be the centurion said i know you you are a man under authority there is the influence of the spirit upon you please help that lady it says i said to one go and he goeth to another come and he comes speak the word only he said how shall it be these things be seeing that i know not man and it says the holy ghost give us that scripture the holy ghost luke chapter 1 and verse 35 shall come upon you and the power of the highest he didn't say will come upon you will overshadow you it's the word baptizo you are immersed immersed in that glory immersed in that power Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place On this final night it was by the spirit that dr. Andrew began to teach you about the leadership of the spirit and now I am telling you that the Holy Ghost is the factor that turns ordinary men into signs and wonders the Holy Ghost does not just overshadow men he overshadows things like your business things like your family Chiefs and aprons is it not in your Bible were taken from out of the body of Paul handkerchiefs and aprons the Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary and a vision was birthed the word became flesh by the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is not an angel listen to me ladies and gentlemen the Holy Spirit is not one of those deities he is God he was sent by Jesus he is the believers advantage even the scripture that you read was a possibility because of his presence man holy men wrote as they were inspired by the Holy Ghost to ignore the Holy Spirit is to ignore your possibility for rising for lifting listen watch this your jesus your jesus my god i just saw like a dove and i'm seeing the number nine it's coming on nine people right now i stretch my hands nine help them please in the name that is above all names i bring you the ministry of the holy ghost in the name of jesus transforming you turning you to a sign and a wonder listen your jesus 
walked under a closed heaven for 30 years even though he was the word incarnate the father never uttered a word because he had not received the ministry of the holy ghost he was born of the spirit but that was not enough that is a kind of new birth but now he needed to receive of the spirit the bible says when he came to john john spoke rightfully so behold the lamb of god that takes away the sins of the world but then when he baptized john it's in your bible that when john came out of the waters your bible says the heavens were opened and the holy spirit in the similitude of a dove came and descended upon your jesus if jesus needed the holy ghost businessman you need more than a proposal and an idea please listen to me politician you need more than intelligence to just formulate policies it was by the spirit of god that daniel excelled even in babylon i bring you the ministry of the holy spirit the believer's advantage it is a way god helps men when god looks at a man in his lowly estate listen you know we're going to pray shortly my god there's such there's such an impartation of grace you will never be the same never never be the same i am speaking to you by the spirit your life your ministry your family never be the same The Holy Spirit behind every preacher doing great things for the kingdom is the Holy Spirit behind every businessman doing exploits for the hope you enjoyed watching our videos we truly do hope that you were blessed please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel turn on the notification button so you are always notified whenever we post inspiring and amazing content like this do well to follow us up on our social media handles on Facebook Instagram TikTok Thank you so much.